Hi guys, it's Patty. Um, I'm back today and it's to do a haul. Um, I think this is like actually my only second, it's my, it's my second haul um, that I actually just showed you guys, uh, did a video on actually. Um, but uh, it's from Michaels and Joann's um, and uh, I got probably things everybody's seen before but um, maybe a couple things that you haven't so I'm just going to get started okay so uh, let's start with um, Joann's first and the first thing I got at Joann's oops, there goes my light is um, this fabric this um, burlap printed fabric um, I think it's so great um, let's see the other side says Paris and uh, some French script really really pretty so I grabbed like a yard of that so that's the first thing I got it was, I forget how much a yard actually it was very cheap though it was on sale okay um then i grabbed this pack of decorative paper i hope you can see with the glare and um it has like just pieces of like um real thick cardboard and um i love the texture on some of these so there's quite a few and this is actually i think um like 3.99 or something so I grabbed one, um, and I figured I'll go back if I weed through it. I just didn't know how similar the packs were. They looked like they had variations, but I have to get deep inside to see if just the stuff inside was on the front and on the other packages. So. But again, I thought it was a great buy. That's that. Um, then I found this uh, Seven Gypsies Paris book cover, um, and it's really, really cool looking. So, um, let me just see if I can open it here. I don't even know if I can. Let's see. So, it's just two pieces of chipboard, but it has like the, um, it looks like a book cover here on the end. I think you could just alter that, and that's the back. It's, it looks like, you know, spillage and whatnot. So, I thought that was really, really cute. So, grab me one of those. And then, let's see, uh, more Seven Gypsies, um, just postcards. That's the front, and let's see, I don't even know if the back is blank or what, but it's an actual size postcard. Um, and blank on the back, so I thought that was really cool too. Okay, oh, everything's falling all over. Okay, um, then I bought some, like, them let's see home basics canvas home basics um fruit tiles but they're just pieces of corrugated cardboard and you get four pieces um and it's six by six so it's perfect size um and it, it's smaller than like the box the corrugation on a box that i would normally get so i like that as well i thought that was really cute so i got that and hold on one second. Let me just fill on the floor. Okay. Um, let's see. This here is from Spellbinders. It's a uh, medium mixage, it's called. And it's a uh, iridescent translucent. Um, it's four pieces. Um, and it's just, oh gosh, let me see how it opens. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can just open this here. And it is um, just really nice pieces of really thin. Um, it feels like uh, um, like a vellum, a really thin vellum. Really nice. Um, so it's you have gold. And then, um, I think this would be, let's see if that's the white or the silver. Yeah, this is the white. It's kind of nice. It's 
that's the white. You pour those. This is the silver. And it's a slight variation there in color from the white. Really soft though and pretty. It shimmers really pretty. And uh, let's see. And then you get like a pearlized white. Really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. So I grabbed one of those. And that's from Spellbinders. Um, I don't know what they're calling it, um, what type of paper, but it just says translucence. So that was really cute. Okay, let's see what else at Joanne's. Um, okay, that was the book. Oh, here's some more paper from Spellbinders. Oops, sorry. Um, it's called Cotton Rag. And this look like from the outside is a really nice texture. Let's open. Look how gentle I'm being. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is called cotton rag. Um, it's called um, fine art paper, but it is um, it's really thick actually, and has a nice texture to it. It's, it's fairly, it has some substance to it. Really nice. So, got those. And those, you get 16 sheets in there. Okay. Uh, okay, now, this is one thing that I fell in love with at Joann's. And these are also from Spellbinders. And um, these are from Susan Lenar Gasmer. Mix, media Mixage, again. And they're called bezels okay and they are just so beautiful I think yeah it's it's just one piece actually I thought it was three different pieces maybe it is it's got to be three different pieces because they all have a oh, maybe it's not yeah they, they are the three different pieces they're kind of glued together there that's the large and then there's um, medium size, and they just with double-sided tape there. And then that's the smaller charm there. Look how cute! So they're just like all different size charms, but aren't they amazing? Like I just cannot wait to alter these. They are so pretty. So that's the heart. And then there is um, a rectangle shape. Um, let's see if I can open this one can't see there's so much glare with the light I hope it's not affecting you guys I get my new camera on my birthday on the 21st so I'm very excited about that I have many video cameras but they just they don't work the way I need them to so got me the one I wanted so, okay and then this is the rectangle shape which is really cool because it has um, a ring on both sides so um, you could just pull ribbon you know, it's a twine or anything through on both sides on those and again there are three different sizes it's one ouch two and three so that's the rectangle Go down there um, here's an oval I'm not going to take you to the mouth, but I hope you can see it through the glare. Well, maybe I'll take it out so you can just see without the glare. And while I'm holding that thing, I'm just stabbing myself. Oh, Lord. All these packages drive me bonkers because I really try not to rip them apart, but... Oh, gosh. Okay. And then this is the oval. Again, it's one, two, and three pieces there. Okay. Um, it's like a, um, I want to say a pendant shape. Really pretty. Triangle, pendant. Um, again, three pieces in there. You can see them. There's a square. Really cute. I just I could just imagine so many different things being done with those. 
And then they have, uh, I'm sorry, and then there's, um, what would this be called? Like a, um, uh, like, oh gosh, I can't think of the word right now. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, you know, like a family crest or something. And they have the, oh, oh. Uh, I'm blank. Okay. So, um, again, so you have three of those. And I'm sure you could change the color, uh, you know, mixatives, whatnot, alcohol inks. And then there's smaller ones. Um, there's a rectangle. And again, these are all spell binders, medium mixage. Uh, small square ones. I thought these were all good. And then oval. I really hope you could see it. Okay, so I really fell in love with those. Um, that was a great find. I don't know what I'm dropping. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let me see. What else did I get at Joe Ang's? Um, hmm. Okay, I think the rest uh, might be. Oh no, I have two more things from Joe Ang's actually. Okay, um, I found this Tim Holtz um, embossing folders, and this is, um, I really like this one. I thought it was really cute. Let me see if it's better on that side. It's like a frame, and this is edging. You could do both sides that way. I don't have this one, and I really like it. I really, really like this one. So that's that one, and that's the Tim Holtz alterations. Um, it's good for A2 size cards, it says. Okay, and then I purchased the Cuddlebug from Anna Griffin, um, and this is the brocade. And um, it's like a damask um, design, which I really, really like as well. Okay. That was also Joanne's. And I think this was also um, near the paints. Um, it's a plaid folk art. And it's a stencil. And I just love this tree. I think it's so cute. And the little bird and the little leaves. You know, just a um, mask. I guess it's a stencil. It's a mask, whichever you want to call it. That's from plaid. And a folk art. Really cute. Okay, and I guess that's it from Joanne's. There might be a few other things. I'm not really sure. There's so much here. Okay, and then I went over to Michael's, and I started with um, a lot of Seven Gypsies. They were, like, stocked. They, just, they must have just filled the shelves because there was so much stuff. Um, so I grabbed these uh, stamps. These are Hampton Art um, hot air balloons. I don't know if you can see them through the glare. I have so many lights right now on here, so it's bright enough. And um, it's creating a huge glare. Let me see where the... Oh, Lord in heaven. Let's see. I can't find it. Oh, well. I um, hope you guys can see them. They're really cute. So you get two large ones, two medium size and then two smaller ones there they're really cute really cute that's that one um this is recollections uh i really thought this was cute i really like this one so i like this one here it's really cute little calendar says notice script. This one's cute. And a postage stamp there. Really cute. And this is, um, there's no name on that. Okay, again, but recollections. These are seven gypsies. Um, this is an eye chart. A little ruler, which is really cute. And, um, that hand there. Really cute. It says the mounts of the hand, and that's Seven Gypsies Hampton Art. I really like this one. Um, I have something for hot air balloons lately, and I had seen something um, recently, and when I do the project on it, I will give that person credit for it. Um, 
but it had to do with a hot air balloon and it was a really great idea so I love this beautiful stamp there this says abundance And um, I'm not really quite sure what this is here. It's a lamp, a clock, or I'm not sure, but really cute. Okay. And um, another recollections. Um, these are like a little bit cartoony, like a little quirky looking dress form, uh, pin cushion, um, safety pants, spool, thread, scissors. You leave me in stitches, sew machine button, thimble, and some just stitch over there. Really cute. I like this one. I love this dress from here. I think it's so cute. Okay. And then I got from Heidi Swap some more masks. Um, I love these butterflies. Really cute. I have a couple of her sprays actually, so I'm going to attempt to use some of them. I haven't had a chance to yet. And this is it's just a spray stencil, it's called. And here's another one. This one is really pretty. Um, little flowers and really pretty. Very pretty. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, let's see. And then, um, let's see, I got some paper stuff. This is Tim Holtz uh, label letters. And they're just little stickers, really cute, all black, a little small and petite, but really, really cute. Like that. Um, this is Kane Company, um, the adhesive chipboard letters, and then little words on the bottom, secret, thinking of you, impressed, um, unbelievable, courage, desire, really cute words. I I didn't have a couple of these, so I thought they were really cute to have. I hope you can see them. And then the whole alphabet up top. Okay, and here's more Seven Gypsies. I told you, they, they stocked up on it. Um, and these are journal tickets, which I thought were really cute. You can never have enough of these, you know? And then this one here, this is Admit One. You know what this looks like actually when you um, go through the tolls years ago and you just have to put the card in and tell you how much you pay. That's what it reminds me of. Really cute. And then um, this here is a tag and it actually um, some French script in London and um, well, I don't know if it's French script actually, um, but it says London. And then there's a D on the bottom, a perforation here. Um, so there's like a little divot in there. Really cute. Um, these I have wanted oops, for a while. They're the ring fasteners. Um, my first pack I blew through and um, I, I don't know why I couldn't find them, but they only had one left. So grab those. Love these. Recollections. These um, are just some embellishments. Um, really pretty. Um, these I think I got when everything was on sale, the recollection sale. I think that's when I actually went, uh, I don't know, a week ago or something. So this is a lamp post, a small lamp, and uh, it's like a chipboard. Um, like this is flat. This is all textured here. This one's flat. Really cute. Bird cage. Really cute. Love the bird cage. A little bird and a clock on the bottom. More balloons, hot air balloons. Really cute. I like this journey. Really cute. But these are really pretty. Very intricate. This is Nassau balloon. And they're weighty actually. Um, these are actually metal. Some of these pieces, this is chipboard and these are metal. I just realized that. This here. Yep, same thing. Metal, metal, and chipboard. Okay. So that's that. Um, then I decided I wanted to um, make some molds. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can um, 
I purchased these just to, um, you know, try it with the clay. Now I bought this clay, which I've used before as paper clay. It air dries. It's really nice. Except I, when I did it in the past, uh, you know, I've never uh, think went beyond painting it. So I don't know how it holds up under anything else. Um, so we'll see. So I purchased that for these molds, and then I also purchased the Sculpty and Fimo, which I think they're very similar, but I'm going to check out and see which one I like better. Um, so I purchased these molds, and they're really cute. Um, these are from Mod Podge. And this actually says you can use, these, it says you can use hot uh, glue in these so you can just squeeze in your hot glue this is I think a picture on the back here um, can you see that um, and then you just let it dry and pop it on out now I think you could probably use um, like colored glue sticks I know I've seen them I've never used them I know I've seen them out there I'm not sure if Maybe they make them specifically or not, but um, this here looks like it popped out pink, unless it's painted. I, I don't think so. I think it's uh, like a colored glue. So this really pretty, um, really, really pretty pieces. You get a crown and a crest, fleur de lis, the bee, key. So I thought that one was really cute, and it's substantial. It's nice and thick, so when you need to pop it out, it comes right on out. So I'm going to try it with the glue and with both of the clays, the paper clay and the um, female all sculpty. This one was really cute because this has a whole bunch of frames in it. Okay. And they're approximately about an inch. This one's about three quarters of an inch. This is about an inch. Uh, this is a little bit more than an inch. It's maybe an inch and a half, an inch and three quarter. Um, another frame there. It's a circle, like a just a wreath that you can do something with. A uh, piece there, really, really cute. Um, and this here, um, they, like I said, they're from Mod Podge. They're Mod Moles, they're called. And then we have another one. These are flowers. Okay. Um, and it's like a daisy and roses. Um, I'm not sure what that one would be. Leaves, it's, uh, strip flowers there, a little corner piece there. That's that one. And this one has some um, birds and butterflies. And again, they're approximately an inch, a little bit more, an inch and a half. This is a bird on a um, branch. But they're really thick, um, let's say about a half inch thick. Um, and but it's it's nice. Um, that's that. Excuse my phone. Um, let's see what's next. Um, there's another seven gypsies. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Before I go into that, okay. So the other thing I decided to do to to make my own molds, I purchased amazing mold putty, and that. Um, I'm going to attempt to make my own for cameos and um, the like uh, frame around a cameo which I have many pieces so I make the mold <clears throat> and then I try it with the clay that you bake and the paper clay that you air dry so that I'm going to try as well we'll see okay so that's that now let's go um, back to here's seven gypsies these are uh, vintage clips but I i'm thinking like i'm going to probably use these to when i need for things to dry to here you know uh, for a while and whatnot so I, I do have some but they're a little bit larger that i got at the hardware store and these are um about an inch and a half but they're really cute and you get a set of eight of those Okay, and then more seven gypsies, just some metal charms, a key, a little um, crystal, a bird, 
a crown, a little arrow, really cute pieces. Then I purchased um, these uh, paper clips with a charm on it. This is Be Joy, Good Life, and Crazy. Really cute. I purchased some more um, binding rings. Um, I grabbed these when I can because I find it hard to find them. So they only had two left. I would have definitely grabbed more. Okay. Um, let's see. A couple of um, washi tapes. Um, these are recollections. This one is so pretty. I love this one with the crown and. With pops of colors, fly high, soar, verse, botanical, some butterfly, another crown. Oh, just so beautiful. I really love it. Love the color on that. And then this one here is stamps. Really cute. And I like the thickness on these. They're about, I don't know, I guess an inch and a half wide. So I thought that was cute. Then I bought some flowers. These are Jolie Bo Jolie's Boutique, and these I thought were just really, really cute. Isn't that really pretty? Look at that flower, how cute that is. This is like a, um, I forget, what the heck I'm going to say, this, this is uh, this cotton frayed, um, this is like a, I don't know what the heck you'd call it, but it's, it's another cotton, but it has like texture to it. Really pretty, just rolled up, very simple, but I thought it was really, really, really cute. So, um, I bought a couple of those, and I've been looking for the Prima um, flowers, oh gosh, what is the name? Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, Michaels did not have them. They don't have too many Prima flowers um, in my Michaels. So I found these, which I'm not going to say they look just like them, but um, it's the general idea. So I grabbed a couple of those. Really pretty. The lace in there. Okay. And then I just grabbed more recollections flowers, one in each color, just rolled. Um, You know, grow green ribbon, a little bling in the middle, light blue, pink, and a taupey rose color, I guess you'd call that. And then, let's see, um, some little butterflies, really cute. Okay, let's see what else I got. A um, couple more things here. Trying to stack it up over here. Okay, um, these were on clearance. Um, I think this was five ninety nine. with my coupon. I paid I don't know like two fifty for it. And I love the wings, and I want to use them for my prima dolls. So I thought it was really cute. My prima stamp dolls. I'm going to use that. And then uh, this Tim Holtz um, Movers and Shapers. Um, it's the it's called In the Bag. And it was on sale, um, and it's I guess about three inches, four inches. Really cute, and it has all the folds and whatnot. So I thought that was really cute. And again, this was on sale. Um, it was practically nothing, um, so I grabbed that. Um, it's the things that I buy that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I usually find that I love, so that's why I grab them. Okay, this here is the Inca Gold Metallic Rub, um, and I got the gold. It's lighter than the uh, Rub and Buff. It's a it's a different gold. Um, let me see if there's a cover on the inside. I don't know if there's going to be a cover in there. Let's see. Of course there is. Ugh. My nail is like... Oh, of course, and then there's another cover. Oh, my God. Hold on one second. Let me see what I can grab to pierce this. I'm just grabbing anything in front of me and...
so it's like really I mean just like the rub and buff but it's a different color you see it is like a champagne color to it and it like it does dry quick like the rub and buff you can keep going this kind of gets it's dry already that's it so you got to know where you're going to put it and it doesn't maybe you want to you could probably mix it with a medium and probably get a little bit more time out of um, the drying process if you do that so that was that I wanted white but they didn't have it um, okay and then I got some flat back pearls these are all different sizes I like the really itty bitty tiny ones that's why I grabbed this one and then those there this I thought was really cute it's just wired um, cotton wrapped up so I'm really not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this yet but I know I'll find something to do with that. That was really cute. This was on clearance um, for $1.99. And it's usually, I guess, uh, $3.99. So I grabbed that. Oh, a couple of trims. Some flower trim here off the, you know, by the yard. And then this one here, which I thought was really pretty. A yard of that. Um, and then these are Michaels. These were $2, I think. Um, and they're just uh, Eiffel Tower chipboard. And they are, um, hold on one second. I really thought this was really cute. Look at that white sparkle. So pretty. And I only could find two of these. I definitely would have grabbed more. Um, I grabbed a lot of things um, this trip so I'm sh with um, having to do with power. So I guess that is going to be um, the theme of my next project. Um, let me see what else. Okay. Um, I just purchased, um, let's see, some modeling paste and some Liquitex gesso. Um, my Fabri-Tec that I love. I really like this. I, I use it for like everything more so than, you know, it's not just fabric. Um, and that's Beacon. But I also purchased the Beacon 3-in-1. I've been hearing a lot of ladies saying that it's really strong. So I'm going to give that a go. And then just a couple more things. I'm narrowing it down now. Let's see. Okay. So I don't know if any of you heard me say more than once that I have no luck crackle finish. No luck. I, I'm telling you, I don't know what is wrong. So I purchased this, and I'm hoping that um, this is the base coat and this is the actual paint. So I'm going to try this. These are from Viva, um, and these were made in Germany, and I um, hope that this helps me. We'll see. These I found in the bridal section um, of Michael's, and these were from David Tutura. He's that wedding designer, and they are so pretty. And they're really long. They're about three inches long. They're very fine, fragile. So, grab me a couple of those. Well, actually, I grabbed me one of those. Only they only had one. I would have grabbed more of these. I really thought they were beautiful, and that was David Tutura. And with the coupon, you know. Um, let's see what else. Okay. And then, I love these little flowers. I always purchase them. Um, I like the fabric next to the um, paper flowers. So I like to tuck them in every, you know, little bits here and there. So, grab some of those. Um, I think that's still pretty much the same. Maybe this one here. Let's see. So cute. So that's it for those. Okay. Um, and the other thing I grabbed was this um, gum Arabic, which um, I think it, it helps with blending um, from what I remember. So I'm going to give that a go been a while since I used this um, from art class so we'll see what happens with that and um, I think that 
narrows me down to probably, um, that's it, I, I grab some canvas um, and then some more folk art paint, uh, an apple barrel. I bought, um, let's see, this is ballet pink. This here is um, lemon silk, love that. This is apple barrel. Um, this one is Regency Blue. Um, baby Pink. So I have like the two different pinks there. Uh, lime Luster. Very pretty. Another yellow. This this one is um, Apple Barrel, and this color is Lemon Chiffon. Really beautiful. So I like to have a variation of those. And um, another Apple Barrel. And this one is Spring Green, which is really another beautiful color. Um, and then um, just some felt and some canvases. So um, I think that's it for now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. And um, the, oh, I'm sorry, one more thing actually. I've been dying to use this. It's Collage Posh. Um, so we'll see. And it's the matte finish. All right, ladies. Thanks so much. You all have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.